Okay, so I've got my little National Wildlife Federation bag here. It's just a little cross body bag. I'm showing this to you because I use this for my travel watercolor painting bag. And it's nice because it's completely washable. So if it was something that, if you're traveling with paints, it's best if you have something that's either completely washable or if it's completely plastic, it's completely wipeable. Don't use something that you can't wash or completely wipe. So let me show you now what's inside of my travel watercolor painting bag. So I've got my water brushes and I have them in a separate Ziploc bag because I do not want these to, um, they don't ever leak, I've never had them leak so far, but I haven't had them for very long, so I'm assuming they could leak. So this is a nice way to have some water even if you don't have a water bottle. So I've cut all of these down at an angle so they're not round brushes anymore, they're more like angle chisel brushes. So this pocket is empty for right now, and I have this pocket right here which I put a small water bottle in, um, so I don't actually carry water with me because it's heavy and also because some places might not allow water, like if you're going to an airport or something, but when you get someplace, you just have to get a small water bottle. Or and so what I have in here is, I actually paint with Schmincke paints when I'm at home, so this is not what I'm traveling with. I have actually have my Creta Color Aqua Sticks here, and I've got a little rubber band on them so they don't pop open. Again, this tin has not popped open at home, but just to be safe, I'm making sure I travel with a, a little band on it, so. I have um, my Creative Color Aqua Sticks, and I've actually cut them down shorter so they all fit in here, so they're all along here, and the black and the white is up there. And I've added to these my Karen Dash um, crayons. All of these are water soluble, so I'm trying to look for a versatile thing that I can travel with that is still archival quality. This was in two tins. Again, I cut them shorter, so now they fit into one tin. So that's the first thing I have, and I don't have a washcloth. I do have some napkins and again I don't think having a washcloth in here is such a great idea because it might just stay wet. I'd rather use napkins when I'm traveling. And I've got my um, watercolor moleskin journal and this is brand new and I am excited about using it and I'm going to be going to Disneyland soon for the first time. I've always wanted to go. I've lived in California my whole life but have never had the opportunity to actually go to Disneyland and even though I'm a bit old for it now, I'm still excited about going so I'm excited about maybe journaling uh, and painting there so this is why I put together this travel bag. And this back pocket here, instead of having paper or notes, I've actually got some thin um, drawing paper and, and tracing paper back here in case I want to draw on here first because you know at home I've shown my other videos I actually draw on my tracing paper and then use the tracing paper as a thin drawing paper because I can then easily transfer onto my watercolor paper. And I think I might want to do that for complicated drawings when I'm traveling too because I don't want to keep erasing on this expensive watercolor paper because it does tend to leave uh, smudges and make the paper dirty after a while. So I've got that. I've got a few um, markers. So I've got my Itoya markers here which do run. So if you uh, make a line with it and then you put a wet water brush on top of it, the line does smear and bleed and gives a beautiful effect. So if I want to use these dry, of course I would use them last, and if I want them to bleed, I would use them earlier so I can make them bleed. I also have a Micron that doesn't bleed, so if I want a fine line that doesn't bleed. I've got a small triple zero brush, because you know I like to ink off of my markers, uh, so I can pick up the ink right off the marker, and also if I want a very thin line off of the crayons, I can use this triple zero spotter. I have this cheaper squirrel hair brush for splattering and also for um, blending edges, should I want to do that. And I've got two uh, sketching pencils. Once these are gone, I think I'll replace that, uh, replace them with a lead pencil. But since I have them, I do want to use them and not let them go to waste. So that's what I have there. And I'm traveling very light because I think the lighter you travel, the more likely you are to take something like this with you and the more things you bring with you the less likely you are. And I've also got this card, this is just a, a used up uh, gift card that I had and you can use it for scraping effects and also for cutting little pieces of the crayon or wax pastel so I have that in there and I should probably put it in this bag and I'll show you what I have in this last little bag here. I've got a tube of black liquid watercolor in case I just want to do just a tonal painting. I have an eraser that's brand new, I haven't used it yet. I have a, a pencil grip. If you want to practice healthier drawing and painting habits, it's a good idea to have a, a thumb grip like this. I've sliced it down 
one side like I've shown before so I can put it around any with pencil or brush. And I've got my four gelatos, which I didn't like very much, but I'm assuming for metallic effects while I'm traveling, that would be nice, especially at some place like Disneyland. I've got two clips, um, two binder clips that are going to be useful, I'm assuming, for um, clipping my drawing paper onto my watercolor paper or holding my watercolor journal open to a particular page. I also have two sponges, and one of them is a... Uh, cut at an angle so I can get straight lines and edges out of it and maybe wash the whole page instead of having um, a bigger brush just using this for a water wash on the paper and then I've got a textured sponge that I can use for modeled effects and textures I've got a pencil sharpener for my two pencils here and again once uh, those pencils are gone I'll probably replace this with a mechanical pencil and I've also got a Da Vinci travel brush which is um, just a size one and it turns into a, a cute little brush that you can use for traveling. And again, I like fine detailed painting, so I have a size one, and you can get whatever size suits you. Yeah. It's so small, you can see that it would even fit, if I had a room, it would fit into my tin here. So that's one of the reasons I got this, is because it's a great travel brush. So I only have a very limited amount of supplies, but I feel like I can do just about everything that I do at home in a limited way with these and of course again these are not Schmincke watercolors but I think for traveling they're going to be very diverse because they can be drawn with, they can be painted with, they can be painted onto, I can dip the brush onto them and paint off the paper so I think there's a lot of fun stuff that can happen and hopefully I'll do some kind of painting there if I don't get too distracted and if not then you can see the, the travel watercolor bag that I have for future painting on the go. And I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it inspires you to maybe make a travel watercolor kit of your own and remember to pack light.